the science and technology regarding extraction of metals from ores and their purification for the use is called metallurgy. The earth's crust is the major source of metals. Seawater also contains some soluble salts. The elements or compound which occur naturally in the earth's crust are called minerals. At some places, minerals contain a very high percentage of a particular metal and the metal can be profitably extracted from it. These minerals are called ores. Ores contain many types of impurities such as soil, sand, rocky substances. These impurities are called gangue. The impurities must be removed from the ore prior to the extraction of metal. The processes used for removing gangue from the ore are based on the differences between the physical or chemical properties of gangue and the ore. The process of separating gangue from the ores is called concentration of ores. A. Separation based on gravitation. First, Wilfley table method. The shaking or Wilfley table consists of narrow and thin wooden riffles fixed on an inclined surface. The table is shaken or kept vibrating with an asymmetrical motion. Asymmetrical motion means the stroke of table is faster in one direction and slower in the opposite direction. Ore is obtained in the powdered form with the help of a ball mill. This powdered ore is poured on the table through the feed box at the upper corner of the table and a stream of water is also released from the upper side. As a result, the lighter gangue particles are carried away along with the flowing water while the heavier particles in which the proportion of minerals is more and the proportion of gangue is less are blocked by the wooden riffles and get collected on the slits between them. 2. Hydraulic separation method. This method is based on the differences in weight between the gangue and the metal. Generally, metal particles of the ore are heavier than the impurities. So, we use the principle of gravity separation to separate the two. There is a tapering vessel, similar to that used in a grinding mill. The lower tapering side of the vessel opens in a tank-like container. This tapering vessel has an outlet for water on the upper side and a water inlet on the lower side. Powdered or finely ground ore is released in the vessel or the tank. A forceful jet of water is introduced in it from the lower side. As water jet is high in velocity and pressure, the lighter gangue particles flow out from the outlet on the upper side of the tank and get collected separately. At the same time, the heavy particles of the ore are collected at the bottom from the lower side of the tank. So, the particles of same size are separated by their weight with the help of water. B. Magnetic separation method. This method is used to separate magnetic materials from non-magnetic materials using a magnet. It requires an electromagnetic machine. The machine consists of two types of iron roller and a conveyor belt moving continuously around them. One of the rollers is non-magnetic while the other is electromagnetic. The conveyor belt is made up of non-magnetic material that is leather or brass. Two collector vessels are placed below the magnetic roller to collect the separated substances. The powdered ore is poured on the conveyor belt below near the non-magnetic roller. The non-magnetic particles in the ore are not attracted towards the magnetic roller. Therefore, they are carried further along the belt and fall in the collector vessel placed away from the magnetic roller. At the same time, the particles of the magnetic ingredients of the ore stick to the magnetic roller and therefore they fall in the collector vessel near the magnetic roller. For example, cassiterite is a tin ore in which stannic oxide and ferrous tungstate is mixed. Stannic oxide is non-magnetic while ferrous tungstate is a magnetic substance. So, these can be separated by using the magnetic separation method. In this way, the magnetic and non-magnetic ingredients in the ore can be separated depending on their magnetic nature.
See, the froth flotation method. Froth means a mass of small bubbles in a liquid caused by agitation. In some cases, for example, sulfide ores of copper, zinc and lead, concentrations are brought by this method. This method is based on the two opposite properties, hydrophilic and hydrophobic of the particles. Hydrophilic is attraction towards water molecules and tends to be dissolved by water. In contrast, hydrophobic are not attracted to water. Here, the particles of metal sulfides due to hydrophobic property get welted mainly with oil and not with water. In contrast, due to the hydrophilic pop property, the Gangue particles get weighted with water. In this method, the finely grounded ore is put into a big tank containing ample amount of water. Vegetable, pine, eucalyptus oil is added in water. In the tank, the particles of sulfide ore are wetted by pine oil, whereas the Gangue particles are wetted by water. The air is passed through this mixture. This results in agitation of the water in the tank. There are agitators rotating around its axis in the center of the flotation tank. The agitator is used as per requirement. The agitation of water in the tank causes the sulfide particles to stick with the oil and rise to the surface in form of froth. The Gangue particles, being heavier, remain behind at the bottom of the water tank. The froth is separated and concentrated sulfide ore is obtained from it.